Hi, welcome to episode three of Miss Kathy's Critter Corner. I'm Miss Kathy, library assistant in the children's department. Today we're going to learn about Luna Moth caterpillars and we're going to learn about praying mantis because I have some praying mantis hatchlings that are really cool that I want to show you. So thanks for joining me. A Luna Moth is a giant silkworm moth. They are bright green and about four and a half inches across. Even though Luna Moths are pretty common here, you've probably never seen one because they only fly at night and the adults only live for a couple of weeks, so the time to see them is very short. In early May, I acquired some Luna Moth caterpillars from a friend who works with bugs and all kinds of creatures. He raised them from eggs laid by moths that overwintered in their cocoons. They were about two weeks old when I got them. I did some research and I found out one of the things that Luna Moth caterpillars like to eat is a beech tree. So luckily I have a huge beech tree in my front yard and that's important because they eat a lot and they grow very, very quickly. One day, I noticed the caterpillars were not eating as quickly anymore, and they had started to change color. These changes let me know that they would soon be creating their cocoons. The next morning, the first of the caterpillars had wrapped itself up in the leaves and spun a silk cocoon. Inside that cocoon, they have formed a pupa that looks like this. Another interesting thing about Luna Moth pupa is that they are very active inside their cocoon. Here you can see one moving around inside his cocoon. The moths have been in their cocoons for almost two weeks now, so they should be emerging any day. I'm going to keep a close watch on them and hopefully we can get some video of them right when they emerge from their cocoon. The other really exciting thing that happened this week was that my praying mantis egg cases hatched and hundreds of baby praying mantis emerged. Here's a picture of the egg cases that I found last fall. There are hundreds of tiny praying mantis in the foamy egg case. The female lays the eggs in the fall and they stay inside all winter, emerging when it gets nice and warm. One morning I came out to check on them and they were emerging. Praying mantis look pretty scary, especially when they're full grown in the fall, but they are harmless to humans and really good for your garden. They will eat all the bugs in your vegetable garden that want to eat your vegetables. Thanks for watching today and learning about luna moths and praying mantis. I hope you come back next time and we'll have an update on our spring peepers because really fun things have happened with them and we'll see what happened with our luna moth caterpillars and we're going to learn about something new eastern black swallowtail butterflies. I already have some eggs and little caterpillars and I can't wait to show them to you. See you next time. Thank you.